everybody, Shecky here, and I just got done watching the inauguration a couple of hours ago. I uh, don't know if you saw it, but uh, it was really quite uh, an emotional event. Needless to say, a, a very historic day, both for American history and for world history. And I am really looking at this as the beginning of a new era. You know, we have a new chief. Uh, the president's speech was very, very impressive, um, not pie in the sky. I thought it was very, very uh, realistic. Uh, and he did speak about the challenges that lay ahead, which we all have. Um, but what I really liked about it was that he stressed a lot about work ethic and that we kind of need to get back to what made America strong. And it just was really uh, a positive thing. So I want to challenge you today to, along the same theme, to inaugurate yourself. And what I mean by that is to inaugurate yourself as the CEO of your company, the chief executive officer. We have a new chief for our country, but you need to be the chief of your business. So many people talk about, you know, home-based businesses, and in my mind, I see a lot of people really just operating home-based hobbies. Um, and I think when you really take control of your business and treat yourself as the CEO, you start asking certain questions. How does a CEO behave? How do they delegate or outsource, as the case may be? Um, how do they sort of value their time? Do they work on things that, that allow their business to move forward? And most importantly, are they focusing on what I call MMAs, money-making activities? So that's sort of the thing you need to ask yourself as you're spending a lot of time behind your computer screen or on your telephone or the kinds of activities that you're doing. Are you truly operating your business as the CEO of a huge international company? How would you be, here's an even better question, how would you be behaving if you were making twenty or $30,000 a month? What value would you place on your time? These are sort of the challenging questions. So, you know, we've all heard that expression, be, do, and have, and it's important to do those things in order. Be the person that you want to become. Do the things that will make you successful and have all of your dreams come true. And in leaving today, I just want to leave you with a quote that I pulled from uh, Obama's speech today. Um, and it goes like this, we must understand that greatness is never a given, it must be earned. Our journey has never been one of shortcuts or settling for less. It has not been the path for the faint-hearted, for those who prefer leisure over work, or seek only the pleasure of riches and fame. Rather, it has been the risk-takers, the doers, the makers of things, some celebrated, but more often men and women obscure in their labor, who have carried us up the long, rugged path towards prosperity and freedom. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.